Welcome to our second lesson in this first section. We're going to talk about order types and how to place them. And we'll go into trading view and kind of get a feel for it. We'll we'll go into uh, the cryptocurrency market since we could place live trades right now. And you'll get a better understanding of that in our demo account. This little picture right here is going to break down most of them so you can visually see what they are. Uh, we got market orders. That is live pricing right now. Whatever you get filled in is what you get. It's not going to be the exact current price. Maybe it's a few pips this way or down or a couple points that way. Um, it is really up to the broker you're using and how they're going to fill you in at market price because they do like to cut a little bit of commission right off of you placing an order, and that's how they make their money. We have limit orders. So you can see that yellow and green. The sell limit is when you want to be in a sell, but you're waiting for a pullback. To hit that price, now you're a seller again for it to drop down. And just flip that for buying. You're going to be a buyer, but you want price to drop. So you get a little better price on your buy, and then it goes back up. Now we have the stop orders, and that is when price goes through it. So if you're a breakout trader, you're going to be using buy stops. Because once price goes through that level, you think price is going to keep running. So you're a buyer now. And same for the sell stops. Once price breaks through that level, you're going to sell at that level and hope it keeps going down. Let's dive into the charts and we'll be talking about placing an order and some tips for it. So we are in trading view. I opened up the Bitcoin USD chart. Let me go into our paper trading. And let me go in here and we're going to place an order. So this is what the trading panel looks like right here. This would be your market orders. So let's say we want to buy, but we want price to go down a little bit, okay? So we want to buy limit. Let's put our price at... We'll leave it at that, right? Let's do one unit, because we only have 47000 in this account. Take profit, let's put it at 22,355. And let's say we don't want it to go any lower than this gap, so 22,291. And we're gonna place that order. So if price. We want it actually right there. Let's see if we get filled. If not, but I want to quiz you all right now. So this is a buy limit because we want price to drop down first and then go back up. So what would this be? This stop loss? To sell, we want to sell out of our buy position. And if price goes through that, what type of order is that? That's a sell stop. Now we want to, again, sell out of our buy. Once it comes up here, what would this be? It's a sell limit because we want price to come up here. Once it crosses this line, we want to sell. Now if we're getting in a sell, right, that makes sense. But we're in a buy, so we got to sell our position. So same thing happens. So that is kind of understanding market flow and price. Now, watch what happens right here. So price has a bid and ask. 22.31 is the middle. But we have 35 and 33, and now it's at 35, right? But you're it's at 35 even, and you can see it's at 95. So there is a little bit of spread right there. So if I were to take a market order, I got filled in. I took my buy at 22, 333, 337. And now we're in one buy. Now we want to get out of this, right? We're going to sell it at a market. We close it out with the $4 loss. 
So play around with this. Again, it's just a paper trading account, so it doesn't matter if you win or lose. Try different orders. You could also do this. Right click. Trade. Create new order. Or you could just hit buy. Or if you right click, right? And that's why I like TradingView. If your broker could go inside TradingView, it's a great platform to use. But for paper trading and back testing, it's also really great for marking up charts and all that stuff. So we'll be using this a lot. And we could quickly put our stop loss and take profits off of that buy limit as well. So really great program. Definitely spend some time getting into this program and learning how it works. But we're going to dive in to the next slide.